Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast here, and of course we have this Boomer. Hey everyone, as we're ready to get this thing covered up, we have some a little bit of musical chairs to swap and buy. As right now we have our next game going on, right Beast? Yes we do. This next matchup we are sending you to the Eastern Conference to the Western Conference on the other side. The same thing that we've done the last game day that we have done in between for the start of a Western Conference to Eastern Conference, but this time is a little bit change off different. As right now we have this next game. We've got Roman Yosi and Jason Robertson ready to rematch again since they've been playing this for the playoffs many times. But this time, this could be one change, one win. Let's have your overall to pick off with a few superstars of starting lineups as Dark UC Soros and of course Jake Ottinger will be your starting goaltender for the game. As right now we start with the Nashville Predators. Smash them! Roman Yossi with the wheels, he also does it on his own distribution to take all of his elite skating with the puck. His captain does have it all to take what he gets to do for his own job to get that one a go-ahead positions, and he does. And then we have his QC Soros, post to post on that save right in between the elite of the puck selling to watch out for the tricky shot made. But he wants to do it on his own, so he's got to see what he can do to try to keep on coming down. And Philip Forsberg is right back at you for the superstar player of increasing the payback to hitters. Now let's go over to the Dallas Stars on the other side as we see Jason Robertson. This one goes in with a snipe. Ely puck selling, he, he does all of his better um, his transition that he does. Then Miro Keskinen has an in reverse to take. He wants to go forward, but sometimes he wants to go backwards, right in between, to go back where he came from to start things over again. I'm hoping there's another change that could be going for good, but you never know. Jake Eindruck has an energizer. He has a, despite his desperation saves, he has a maximized team energy. He does one of his best techniques to keep on going in between, but all it happens to be one at a time. Rube Hintz has his wheels to take with his elite skating with the puck. He skates fast and he wants to get this thing done right away. Joe Pavelski has a big tipper to take all of his elite shot deflections. If he has that one coming in there, he wants to take that one tipped in to have it deflected and go right in. And he has that good screen effect to go right in between. He's also known as a snipe, magnetic, born leader, and relentless. The superstar players are Matt Duffney and Jamie Bang, which goes with Wheels and Back at Jeff. The same goes with Philip Forsberg. And now let's get you down right over on the other side. Standing by, I have is Jake James Zabolski, along with the other commentator of Cheryl. And Carl will be standing by in the center ice. Let's get you down to Dallas to start game one. Enjoy, guys. Hi everybody, welcome to EA Sports World of Dallas, home of the 1999 Stanley Cup Champion Stars. Just moments away from puck drop, both teams seem ready to go.
screening for it. He's to position and he makes the save. Takes a shot. Dallas Stars goal! His first goal of the playoffs, scored by number 27, Mason Marchman! His first assistant here by number 37, Ian Lindell! And by number 24, Pat Duffy! Time to goal, 5 for three remaining in a first period. That is a goal by Mason Marchman, assisted by Lindell and Duffney. 15-27 in the first period of the playoffs. Central Reserve with the face-off, ready to go. And got the That's Rofeldi, National Predators goal. His first goal of the playoffs, scored by number 8, Cody Glass. His first assistant here by number 13, Gaden Trennan. And by number 29, Lucy Soros. Time of the goal, 7.24 remaining in the first period. That's Cody Glass's goal, assisted by Aaron Trennan at UC Soros, 7.24.
The Stars go! It's first goal of the playoffs, scored by number four, Miro Heskinen! His first assistant by number 25, Matthew Duckney! Time to go for the third period, 8.47 remaining. That's a goal by Miro Heskinen and Matt Duckney, 8.47. Second goal of the season, score or the playoff, scored by number eight, Cody Glass. He is close assisted there by number ten, Colton Sizzitz. And by number twenty-four, Lane Shea. Time to goal, eleven fifty-six remaining in the first period. That's Cody Glass's goal. A second goal in the playoffs, assisted by Colton Sizzitz and Lane Shea. Eleven fifty-six.
picked up along the wall by Tanev. Into the attacking area from the left side. Castle's got the puck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. There's a shot. Just one minute remaining in the first period of the game. Dallas Stars go! This first goal in the playoffs score by number 21, Jason Robertson! Unassisted here by, by the team. Time to goal, 1842 remaining in the first. That's Jason Robertson with the unassisted player, 1842. That's the end of the first period. You score for the, for the first division. Three for the Stars and two for Predators. Hey guys, Terry Cruz here. Want to give you a quick announcement here before we get back into the game. If you got some tickets down here, they are on sale right now. So you can just stop by in between for the websites in between. The first stop, they will be happening to have it here, here in New York City. Then the second stop will be the next one to take over. As the next one trip, as they head on towards to a new locations in between Houston, Texas. Then their third trip will be Seattle, Washington. That will be where the point of the Kraken used to play for the NHL this season. Right near the sea. And sometimes it's not really what everyone does talking. Then Going back to Los Angeles, California, the Hollywood returns for a new part of the year here at Sabian Media Center, the same location just like last year. Then Chicago, Illinois will be happening here in Harris Theater. And finally, coming soon in August, is Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This will be announced here, and as you already may have noticed, this will be our next part of the tickets. So if you have your tickets here online, go ahead and stop and buy. Don't wait till it's too late. Then we have another one coming in for you, as we have a new season underway. That's right, it's the WNBA. 
That's why we are bringing things for a new season to level up the uh, the sports game and also keep the subscribers rolling. And also with new reactions, we'll be coming in every summer along the way. As you may already notice, this will be our new priority to have new play, new change-offs, even animation with the skills right in between of those two. So if you have one of your thoughts in between, you can check us out here right on right on the social media and of course just stopping by to the BFDI in AnimeSanity.com for new tickets. Watch the video here and they will give you some out with some two new plushies, the Taco and the Evil Leafy Plushie. Ooh, that's pretty scary. But don't even try to question me if I know one of them. <laughs> Not my thing. But in that case, if you have your stuff here ready with you, be sure to head yours now here on the Anime Sanity page and you'll get some one of it and you should, yeah, you should go check out. There's a lot of them that's going to be happening in between, so they are definitely going to take six locations. But this time, if you're waiting for the skit, that will be happening here for July on the truth. That's right. Because sometimes it's too much to do, it's, it's not much to handle, but that's what happens now. And season four opening of this, where you're casting your votes, for in between which team do you want to see them play against, you'll have some playing time of options before the end of the deadline nears the appearance on September. But that will be to be determined here from the end of the month or mid-month of the day. So with that one, let's get back into the game. Terry Crews out, back to you, James. <laughs> Back on the ice, exactly. 
through center and on the attack. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Dallas plays it up ahead. They've got some momentum here. second period. That is the two goals in a goal. Ramiro Guskinen and Rook paid for the assist. 6.54. for Jodorowsky, number 16. Dominic Bell, the 11th for 40 remaining in the second period. That's two in the first slashing, number 16, with a, with a slash in the second. Dominic Bell, the 11th for 40 remaining. Shake 
in his own zone. Dallas has possession of it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. The Predators in possession on their own end. Dallas has it near the wall. The Stars will play in their own end. Sends it over to Hintz. Here's a shot. Oh, he gets a piece of the puck to get out of there. Gains the zone.
never play this anywhere with you if there's an interference. After reviewing the play, it is a signal that it is a no goal for Bell Stars. Assisted by Roman Yossi and Delvago, 11 32 in a second third period of playoffs. Offensively, 
plenty of scoring chances, but they continue to trail because they haven't finished late in this third period. Dallas has it into the face of it. Fires it! They just got a piece of it to keep it out. Jason Buckman still hangs on to the puck. From the top of the offensive side. I want to hear you make some noise. Get on your feet. Show your in game one. And this time we are about to be heading you to overtime for the second time of the season in the postseason for the playoffs of this matchup. The Predators and the Stars are definitely a tight team. They're definitely like rivaling right each other in between since 1991. And that was a part of the start of it with the expansion plan. And that one was not the early days since they haven't just played here so long 
after the Minnesota North Stars has been relocated now to go with the Minnesota Wilds. But the Dallas Stars really wanting to see what they can do if they can take it right from here. While I have a lot of bad feelings in between because this is like a tightness in the score. Nashville and Dallas, I mean, they're like a better team in between. But I was wondering if the Dallas Stars may move on. They've lost two seasons against the Colorado Avalanche, but this time they could be entering into the, the playoffs for the second chance that they can get there that far. You might not know what would happen like that. Well, as I may, may mentioned it before, this might be one of the games that goes in between. So there's a lot of the scores in between Cody Glass and Miro and Heiskanen. He has his hat trick goal, finally have tied this game up. He has been looking like he wanted to get to his shooting range, and he just got that one in there. That is a hard part, but nothing happened to be one of them between, and that's how you notice you got that one coming in by. Yeah, it's definitely true. The same thing that always happened to be like that. I mean, you can't let them happen, but let them score all the time. And now we send you back to James Zerbalski and Cheryl for overtime. This game is brought to you by Adidas. Let's get right to work. Guys, all yours. I'll be keeping an eye on the update for the last part of the game winner. Picked up along the boards by Buffs. 
Massa. Nashville's moving it along the wing. Takes a shot. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out.
Stars winning goal overtime. It's first goal in the playoffs. Scored by number 11, Leonard Stankovic. Time to go 8.40 remaining in the overtime period. That's Lance Stankovic with the first goal, 8.40 remaining. Alright, I guess that was the longest game you've always expected to see what happened. Yo, Roman Yossi hasn't seen what he gets his goal. That was, that was the Stenko win with his first goal in the playoffs. Wow. That's how you do to beat the praise on your own. Yeah, I must say now, this is a very great team. Right in between those two, I mean, you would never want to get rid of that. Now it's time for three star players of the game. We'll start with you, Boomer. All right, thank you so much. Third star player goes to Matt Duckney. Only two assists and four hits. Then Cody Glass with two goals and four hits. Only had made that one a little bit. Good one-time motion in between to beat Ottinger. But your first star goes to Heskinen. He has three goals and seven hits. He just finally got a hat trick or against the Predators for the first game. Well done. Here's how you do with the total statistics. 71 over 50 for Dallas Stars in the total shots. Then it was 59 over 45 for Dallas Stars for the hit. Time on attack was 736 over 713 for Dallas 2. 91 over 90 for the passing percentage for Dallas. And 37 over 27, 31 over 27 for Nashville for the faceoff win. Four minute penalty kill, but not for long. They had no power play goals. That was their power play minutes for four for Nashville. Yeah, I must say, hopefully they'll kind of come back and then probably do it again. You may never know what's going to be like that. In the meantime, that is it for the first game in the Western Conference. We'll stick you around for the last game and the second game in the Western Conference as we will have the Canucks facing against the Kings at Rogers Arena. That will be coming up in just a bit. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL 24 Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports Dino. See you next time, folks, and see you all again pretty soon here for our final game. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.